Hey everybody, welcome back to another Chip in the Third Person video log on my uh, commute into work on, God, what's today? Wednesday, the 2nd of October, 2019. When the hell did it become October? Um, and if you're watching this and it isn't October 2nd yet, okay, um, maybe, whatever. Um, I need to shave, huh? I've been looking back, you know, when I was doing these almost daily, it's cool to see this, you know, grow and shrink and grow and shrink and... Yeah, it's getting a little too much, I think. A little unprofessional. I don't know. Don't know what you guys look like, people that are watching this. Um, so yeah, it's October. I'm ramping up for the Halloween season, as it were. Um, don't know if I talked about this on here. I've been, uh going through and trying to catch up on some movies I lost I uh, missed, I probably did, I talked I watched uh, Rob Zombie's 31 I probably mentioned this the other day, but it's uh, it's it's definitely interesting um, it looks like the cut that got released, at least the version that I got was really cut down, there's giant jumps in time maybe that's intentional movie doesn't really coalesce um it's still he he can he can shoot tension and he can shoot horror and he's got a very unique visual aesthetic um but uh kind of like with his halloween movies and this one not really doing it for me rob um but again i loved what he did with lords of salem and house of a thousand corpses and uh the devil's rejects and can't wait for three from hell yeah it was kind of disappointing and how kind of eh, 31 was. Um, also, you know, you couldn't call it Halloween. So they called it 31 because it takes place on Halloween, the 31st day of October. Um, I've uh, watched the first two films for the October film run for Two Cent Cinema. Um, the one yesterday I talked about Spider Baby. I just finished Horror Noir, which is a documentary about um, the black community and uh, black film subverting what you think you're seeing. Um, 
it's right up there with like 28 days later is like a, oh wow this is you know they're doing something a little bit different but in the confines of something very similar with the zombie genre and in this it's more of something a little bit different in the type of story they're trying to portray and uh, I think it's really wor really worth seeing uh, the, the little girl in it who, who I found from Horror Noir was in the book not written as an African American character or now this is in Britain so I should say a, a black I guess we'll, we'll say character um, you know to be cast that way adds an incredible additional layer of social, political, and everything else, and historical commentary to the film. And this young girl in scenes with Glenn Close, I believe it's Glenn Close, if I get that wrong, I'm sorry, and they are, like, acting circles around each other. Um, it, it's just fucking incredible. It, it's a great movie, and I highly recommend you check it out, and I'm glad they reminded me um, of it. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything else coming that I'm really psyched about seeing. I really wish I had caught the extended cut of Midsommar. Um, I'm really bummed out about having not seen that. Um, I've got some other horror movie related things that I'm going to be doing this month with uh, the folks over at Geeks with Shields and Geeks Who Haunt. So look into those um, and be on the lookout for those. Um, yeah, I'm I'm having a hard time coming up with anything that I'm really excited about coming new from the genre, so I guess I have to dig back into some old stuff. I haven't seen The Lair of the White Worm ever, so I'm excited to check that out for uh, the Two Cents um, contribution. Um, and I just got a Shutter subscription because of Two Cents. You think, why would this guy who's obsessed with horror have a Shutter subscription? But I do now. And looking into all of the things that are now made available through that, and I can't wait to dig in to some of that. Um, I, had, I have not seen Found Footage 3D, so I can't wait to check that out. Um, that's uh, very, very quickly on the short list of things I really want to check out. Um, but again, yeah, if you guys got recommendations or something, I'd, I'd love them. I'm, I'm usually a lot more full to the brim on, uh, on things that I want to see in this regard, but nope, nothing. Uh, so what else is going on? Yeah, work today is going to suck. Oh, I'm recording an episode of the Talkbuster tonight. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, trying to get some more very exciting guests going on that show and on other shows. Um, so continue to watch those. Um, I want to get uh, Movie Bob, my brother, uh, down to do another tangent soon. I want to go in depth um, about how much we both enjoyed the uh, new Dark Crystal show. Um, I want to really, really get into that. So that'll be coming soon as well. So other than that, I don't have much interesting to say other than I'm here. I'm Chippa and I like talking to you guys and I like making content for you. So if uh, you want to help me out, um, especially this past month, a whole bunch of um, patrons cards got declined. So, uh, you know, I'm more concerned for you guys than I am for myself. Hopefully everything's okay. But, uh, you know, obviously the the patron numbers definitely help me to keep doing what I'm doing. So please check on those cards if you're a patron and you're listening to this and make sure things are getting charged right. Um, and also, if you're listening to this and you're not a patron, what's a dollar a month? A dollar a month for you is probably nothing. You know, it's a candy bar or a soda, you know, or whatever. Um, but a whole bunch of you put a dollar a month together and that really helps me out. That lets me know that... Um, you want to watch this stuff, it lets me know that you want me to put time and effort into this, because if not, I have to put my time and effort into other things, um, in order to keep my family afloat and stable, and also be able to produce this stuff, you know, be able to pay for the Lipson account, and to be able to pay for props. Um, the new podcast or new show that I'm working on, which is a video presentation spinoff, um, on shooting the shit, which is how I'm starting it, in case it doesn't take off, then I don't have to, like, you know, give up on uh, a new show or anything like that. Um, it's going to cost a little bit of money to produce, because um, it's going to involve um, things that have to be purchased that will be utilized during the recording um, of every episode. So, again, um, the extra money there is also helpful in keeping that interesting and keeping that uh, coming out to you guys. So, with that, until next time, this has been The Chippa, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye.